Okay. Well, there it is. That timing right there. Thanks for the sub. Here we are in another game. Played on Sanctuary. This is... Ooh, well, this looks somewhat like Norshire, except if it was squished down and spread out. That sounds bad, but that's the case. So, we've got Undead in balance over here, Gay Dwarf. So, blue team is on the east-hand side, red team is on the left-hand side. I believe the blue team is, gonna, is are called the Martial Artists. Only one player actually has the same name. So, I'm going to call them the Martial Artists, whether they are or not. So, the Marshals or something. So, we've got the Gay Dwarf, Undead. Oh, my goodness. Dover K. <laughs> Fast Tech. That's the guy with the same name. So, okay. There's a thing. We've got... You just got shaved. And we've got Cumulo. So, this is the free-for-all team. And uh, they're all free-for-all players. But they've joined up to play in 4 versus 4. Which I think you had from the previous game as well. There was a free-for-all gone wild team. That was the other team. The team that lost, unfortunately. But, yeah. Free-for-all and 4 versus 4 RT. Are slightly different beasts. But they do have similar elements. So, Baka. You've seen these guys before. They were in the previous game. Team Trump. So, he's... The dude with the Torrent Chieftain. And I suspect he's probably going to Torrent Chieftain again, considering the late altar. So, Red Orc. Although, actually, I'll swap the colours there, just for a moment. Long Walk USA with the Priestess of the Moon. Although, he's gone Demon Hunter this time. Solo White. Archmage. The Red Human. And We Are Fowls. The Yellow Human with an Archmage. Okay, so. Scouts are being exchanged. Cumulo. Is about to be spotted. But he's already done some spotting himself. And he knows that there could be a Torrent Chief and Headhunters to come. Potentially. Long Walk USA. Rolling in with the Ancient of War for some nifty creeping. That's pretty cool. Go through the trees on the back and take out the mobs. It depends how many annoying range units are here. But we'll see how that one works out. Demon Hunter getting ready. Ah, uh, not too bad. That's a lot of experience, actually, for a Demon Hunter. Maybe that's the idea, is to boost up the Demon Hunter fast. Okay. Some light creep in there. He's about to start off. Let's see how this goes. Demon Hunter's got to find his way. Maybe just come in on the east-hand side. A bit more healing. Maybe one more Wisp after that. The DPS isn't too strong for these guys. At least not versus a building. Okay, what's this? You just got shaved. About to spot something. What is this? The fight for the Ogre Magi? Okay. They're going to get it. This is clearly going to give a good item. Otherwise, that's a very risky move. Scroll of Animate Dead. Oh, I get it. That is a very strong item. This is some brave creeping from Long Walk. Very nice micro, keeping both the Ancient of War alive. Oh, but not quite the Archer. Bit off by the Assassin, reapplying his poison. Because when the poison runs out, he reapplies it. But nonetheless, if he gets the creep camp done, it's worth it. So yeah, Scroll of Animate Dead. Okay, that's not a great item, but it sells for a lot. I think it sells for like 400 gold. So they probably want to get rid of that. Unless they can find a good early use for it, if they were to rush. And, uh, ooh, okay. This is like a free for all. I was wondering if there's going to be like some sort of free for all strats going on here. Super mass gargs. Who's feeding though? I imagine it's Gay Dwarf doing the feeding. Not necessarily actually, no, it's you just got shaved because he's only got that. But the other guy didn't. Only got the, the tier 1 undead base as well. Well, that was brave. I like the teamwork there of picking up the 400 gold item. Only cost a bit of health, really. Not much else. So I think that was definitely worth it. Gay Dwarf's going to be able to take the whole creek camp down here, though. And not have to worry about picking off a specific ogre. They did just do that, though. And they gone for Scroll of Resurrection versus Scroll of Animate Dead. Oh, that was a slight awkward pathment. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, the rest of these creek camps are just annoying. Frost armor, very heavy, high health. Ogres, you know, I can understand why you would just abandon that and not bother. We are fouls under some significant pressure. Look at those gargoyles. Oh, those towers are not going to hold up to that. Oh, he does manage to get one tower, but is it going to be too late? I think it might be 
it too late. If he keeps this pressure up, just stick with it. Although there's so many peasants repairing. He's got to take out the peasants now, because there's just too many. He will be able to possibly keep the Arcane Tower, but the Arcane Tower isn't too much of a threat. But double Archmage with water elementals could definitely be a bit of an issue. You just got shaved doing some harassment on the left-hand side here at an expansion. Oh, <laughs> you actually managed to find a use for the Animate Dead. Well, that's actually really good. I guess that's definitely worth 400 gold, because that's a guaranteed kill of all of these buildings, including the units. That was actually really good. That's one of the few times that Animate Dead actually worked out. Because, <laughs> in all honesty, I would not be surprised if you sold an item like that. But in this very situational circumstance, it actually paid off. Alright, Dover K. Still applying pressure with the gargoyles. Using the micro, trying to get what he can. Whittle down the numbers. The riflemen are trying to build up in numbers. Will the water elementals be able to keep this away? I don't think so. The frost nova coming in there is very nice. The lich gives so much extra damage and control. Definitely feeling a bit of pressure. Still only level one. Can't hang around for too long. The skull blight is nice. Long walk USA. Feeling some pressure from Gay Dwarf up the top here. I know. Actually, I mistook that. It was just a. Oh, must have gone out of fission. So the base actually hasn't been completely cancelled, so the Animate Dead didn't actually manage to t stop this base. You just got shaved. Oh, man. That's harsh. So, okay. Well, the Gargoyles can come and finish this, and hopefully they do, because otherwise that was a lot for not that much. So yeah, they take care of business. A few extra gargoyles makes all the difference. That was a good move to keep some gargoyles down there instead of pulling them all back up the top here. A player's forces are under attack. Top right, we have an Ogre Magi being picked off. Scroll of Resurrection still on the Death Knight. Being saved for later on into the game, where it can definitely be pretty useful. Bringing back six fiends or something like that will be pretty damn cost-effective. It's 400 gold, but you imagine each fiend costs 215 gold, so just bringing back a couple of fiends is worth it. I don't think it just applies to your units, though. I think it applies to any of your allies' units, too. I'm not 100% sure, because you don't often see it get used. So there could be even better units than fiends. Dover K, careful with that Death Knight. He's getting mighty close to death. Taking the name a little bit too seriously there. Blade Master's down as well. Where did the Blade Master die? A town is under siege. Okay. Well, that's not the end of the game, that's for sure, but it certainly doesn't help. I guess it's more experience for the Lich. That's the way I always look at it, is if one of your main heroes dies, it's more experience for the other heroes to catch up. Alright, so back here with a level 2 Torrent Chieftain, wanting to whack it up to level 3 at the very least. Torrent Chieftain becomes very scary once he hits like level 5 onwards. Solo, why? Oh no, this is not good. We haven't seen any of the players lag. This is War Free Arena, so I believe they have the opportunity to rejoin. I don't know... Oh, okay, it's just lag then. Thank goodness. Yeah, we haven't seen any disconnects. Speaking of which, I haven't disconnected yet. I could potentially disconnect. and I, I, I've only just recently set up War Free Arena, like last night. So I haven't got G-Proxy on or anything like that, I don't think, because I've got the new PC, so things are still getting set up. These deceivers stuck in the middle. They're against both teams. Looks like Dover K takes it though. Surround on Long Walk USA. Not quite. The Demon Hunter slips out. Or does he? In true Demon Hunter style. That would be nice if he could pick up a healing salve, but the shop doesn't belong to him. that we are fouls. I don't think it's going to be too long until we start to see steam engines. Although you've got hippogriffs coming in as a form of anti-air versus the gargoyles. But with the fiends also being used to support the gargoyles, air forms of anti-air aren't that good because of the fiends. Oh, Alaria's Flute of Accuracy. Very nice. So those riflemen are going to enjoy that. Along with the water elementals. 
Ring of protection plus three. Not great. Oh, down for the count for that gargoyle. So a bit of multi-creeping going on here from White. Trying to dip in as much as he can. Hippo's on the chase, along with Baka with his Torrent Chief and Headhunters. Gay Dwarf running away. We've still got the middle that's uh, available, but the players have got to be very careful because they're going to run right through. Yeah, he's actually Town Portland. The Town, is under the town Portal might have been a little bit over the top, but it could also be just to re-pick up items like Orb of Corruption, so I can understand that. And actually it wasn't too bad for him because he's actually in a good place to defend now. As soon as Fowls reveals himself, he'll have to come back up that ramp. Any second, there we go. He just got shaved, looking for level 3 on the Blade Master. Being denied by an arcane tower. Gate Wharf, the Freaking water elementals are doing the work. Look at that. This is actually pretty scary. You're inside an undead base, but you're still pressing forward. Mountain King does have the health potion, which he uses. Cumulo trying to help to defend this with his demon hunter. Meanwhile, we've got a huge attack up the top here with Dovake. But he is being chased away, so those hippos are very scary. So I guess those are be pretty beneficial at this stage of the game. Because the fiends aren't there to help versus them. Mountain King being flipped up into the air. Oh, damn. Cumulo. Demon Hunter down. Mountain King will not get away this time, though. Forced the town portal out. Up the top here, we have that shop that was very cheekily produced and positioned in such a manner. It's finally going down. And at the bottom left, we have... You just got shaved. He's actually going to use some sappers. And he actually gets level 3 from killing the tower. This is going to be pretty awesome. That's a pretty good start. That Blade Master should be able to wipe all of this as long as it doesn't get defended, but Fowls might come over. Yeah, I guess he's going to come over. I was wondering if he's just going to abandon the base and meet up with allies to go and do some damage. Oh, up the top here we've got a huge hippo happy fight. The Demon Hunter's just dancing around. Are the Hippos really going to do enough here, or is the Undead going to prevail? It looks like the Undead takes over. Gargoyles are doing their work. Backer trying to get in. Long walk. Oh my goodness. Is there a coil? Oh, he gets the surround. And the Demon Hunter gets away. God, what is it with the Demon Hunters getting away? Almost as bad as Blade Masters. So at the bottom left, Solo White gets to keep his expansion, but that was some good experience there for You Just Got Shaved. Did cost a couple of sappers, though. So, mm, fairly expensive, but I'd say probably worth it, because it still drew the attention and distracted. So there's the benefits of that. Nice use of the Troll Witch Doctor. We should see more of these in these kind of team games, because the amount of advantage you get from fission is crazy you know where your opponents are you know how far away they are so you know what you can get away with yourself you know what units they're going so you know what you to build to counter so more sentry wards will be very very good although we have seen quite a few fly machines in these games so fly machines could take care of that but i don't know if the blue team actually have human no they don't so they couldn't get fly machines but they can get shades you just got shaved Deciding to put down some units of his own. Triple bestiary, so obviously mass bats or mass... I guess the bats versus the hippo riders. The hippogriffs, sorry. But the hippogriffs didn't win that previous fight. Anyway, let's come to the middle. Dark wizard being picked off. Oh, what a flank from underneath there. So many rifles picked off. Carrion swarm, nova coil... Hagger's Gem of Health, Sobi Mask, Undead Imbalance is really going to get carried away this game. Very nice. That's looking very scary indeed. Team Trump actually uh, might be in a bit of trouble here, just because of how scary that Undead Army is starting to become. We'll have to see whether the appropriate counters are produced. Very little wood here for Solo White, but he do hear a Shredder, so he's going to bring the wood in eventually. 
Blade Master still hanging in there. Storm Bolt! Oh, he does not use the invulnerability. Did not see the Mountain King coming. That was unfortunate. I'm not sure if he could have got out of that anyway. If he had a Wind Warp, maybe, but the flying machines would still be able to see him. So even if he used the invulnerability potion, he might have still got killed just trying to escape. Okay, that's a lot of undead right there. That is huge amounts of undead. Where's the flying machines to deal with that? We've seen flying machines be very successful in the previous games. Catching a hippo. Going to catch more hippos. Oh, no. We are fouls. There's the flying machines, but there's just not enough of them. Archmage being picked off so easily. This army does not stand a chance. The food differential is 100 to basically 40-ish at that time. It's double the size. Way too much to deal with there. And uh, we've got a huge amount, though, for Team Trump coming in to at least get some small victory for the loss that's going to be had over here. Mountain King actually getting away? One Frost Worm will seal his fate. There it is. There's no getting away now. Although there is a flank on the above, but it's more of a chase than anything else. I think he'll just escape from this. So will we see Cumulo's Blade Master come back? That's the question. Not Cumulo's Blade Master, sorry. Uh, you just got shaved, Blade Master. Yeah. He'll make a return shortly. The question is, is where is he going to go? So many bloody frost worms. Do they all belong to the same guy? No. Can't possibly because there's just so many of them. There's seven food units. Batrider taken down by the Torrent Chieftain. He's got quite the swing. Alright, more pressure here for Fowls. Who doesn't even have heroes to defend himself with. And those towers aren't going to cut it. He's going to have to depend on his allies to get him out of this situation. That is so much to deal with right now. But there are a lot of hippos. But they're being embraced right now. The Carrion Swarm. Softening them up. Gargoyles repositioning. Bats coming in. Hippos being picked off and running back. But the flying machines are trying to stand tall. But they fall. And this looks really good right now for Undead. Although we still have all these range units from underneath. But how many frost worms can they take down? before the damage of the undead just becomes too much. Backer losing his Torrent Chieftain. Archmage soon to fall because of you got shaved. He just wants revenge. He hates humans for some reason. And this looks like game set and match. There's opportunities to come back here for other players. I have seen this done before, but this looks like at least a guaranteed base kill whilst the others are trying to regroup and recover. There's more hippos coming in. Some desperate form to try to deal with this many frost worms. We can hear so many forms of anti-air. The gyrocopters just falling one after another. Don't think Solo White's going to... Eh, maybe he gets to keep that expansion because these flying machines are distracting with their deaths. And the Crypt Lord or the Death Knight leveled there? Either one's scary, really. I was wondering if that Scroll of Resurrection was still there. I was just about to say, is that Scroll of Resur Resurrection still there? Scroll of Resurrection will not work on Frostburns because they are air units. They don't leave corpses. Bats need to find a target before they all get picked off. They really want the flying machines, though, but they're going to have to settle for the hippos if they can get them. Wow. That was rough going for the bats. Death Knight almost up to level 6 here, feeding on all those human peasants. This looks like Fowl's base has been crippled. The attempt to come back into the game now is looking rough for Trump. Shave trying to pick off another town hall. Backer throwing in some 
courtesy lag. Trying to buy his ally some time to react with the wisps. Nice reconnected. The thing is, the only way you can deal with this kind of undead strength is with fast numbers. But they've got so little because they're having to build the scraps to try to deal with it. And they keep chucking it one after another. So they can't build up the accumulated force to deal with that undead. It's just scraps that are being chucked at it, and the undead just eats it all up. Demon Hunter's out, though. This Orb of Phenom could beat some Frostworms. Can actually do some good damage, actually, though, with the Orb of Phenom. Respective damage. Their best bet is just to regroup and really overwhelm. But they've still got a lot of work to do if they want to come back into this game. This is the moment. Hippo's taken so much damage there from the Nova and the Carrion Swarm. No scrolls of healing, I don't think, for the Team um, Trump. So these air units that they have have to withstand the punishment of the undead spells. Infernal coming in as well to deal with the ground. The Demon Hunter's trying to apply some pressure here, but he's taking so much damage using the anti-magic potion. But he's still going to be picked off. He can't run away from this one. The undead look so dominating here. The free-for-all strats paid off. Blimey.